Hello! If you've watched my previous two videos, you already know how I started by creating a simple Android app using AI-generated code and Android Studio. Then, I transformed that app into a fully functional budget tracker that allowed users to add income and expenses. However, there was one major issue. It didn't save data after closing. Every time I reopened the app, all transactions disappeared, making it nearly useless. So in this video, I turned to AI once again to fix this issue. My goal was to add save and delete functions to make the app more useful. Could ChatGPT handle this task? Let's find out. As usual, I provided ChatGPT with all the necessary details. I shared my current project files and code to make sure AI had full context. Then I explained exactly what I needed. The app should save data even after closing, and there should be a delete option to remove individual transactions. Within seconds, ChatGPT generated a detailed plan and listed out the steps to implement these features. The first step, was to add the required dependencies and plugins to the build.gradle.kts file. Once that was done, ChatGPT asked me to create four new Kotlin files inside the com example API directory. App database KT, transaction DAO KT, transaction entity KT, and app KT. These files were responsible for setting up and managing the database. After that, I had to add a new Android name entry in AndroidManifest.xml to ensure the database was properly recognized. With everything set up, the next step was to update MainActivity.kt and ActivityMain.xml with the code needed to interact with the database. After making these updates, I rebuilt the project. But then an error popped up. At first, I wasn't sure what went wrong, so I asked ChatGPT. It quickly identified the issue. The old Android name entry in AndroidManifest.xml was causing a conflict. ChatGPT suggested removing it. Once I did that, the error disappeared, and the app successfully built without any issues. Now, it was time to test the app. I connected my phone using USB debugging and ran the app. But it kept crashing. So, I copied the error log and fed it to ChatGPT. It analyzed the issue and suggested an update in AndroidManifest.xml. I applied the fix, and this time the app launched without any errors. The save function worked perfectly. But there was another issue. Previous transactions weren't visible. Once again, I explained the problem to ChatGPT, and it told me to update MainActivity.kt and ActivityMain.xml. After making the changes and running the app, boom! The old transaction list was back. But there was still one thing missing, the delete button for each transaction. I had to go back to ChatGPT and explain my requirement again. It provided me with an updated MainActivity.kt code that included a delete function. I followed the instructions, updated the file, rebuilt the project, and tested it again. This time, everything worked exactly as expected. I could add new transactions and delete any transaction when needed. See the list of transactions even after closing and coming back? Perfect. But as I was testing the app, I realized something. What was it? The user interface. It looked very basic. While the app functioned well, the UI still needed a modern and attractive design. That's what I'll be working in the next video. So if you're interested, make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.